What is happening, guys? Welcome back. All right. Last episode, story went kind of interesting. Well, a little bit interesting. I feel still feel like the story's kind of flat, uh, but we are kind of picking up now. Zugul's basically invaded the city, so now we have to clear the city out. So at least something happened. Hopefully, this is where the story starts getting good. A Zugul body. Not just that. It can't be. The hollowing. Hollowing. Why do you say the hollowing? Hey, you okay? <laughs> Zugal carcasses and the hollowing. What happened? That brat. That damn redded lord's brat. She dissolved the Zugals in a flash and then... You're saying Nazamil did this? The dead Zugals? And the Hollowing too? Wait, what? Huh? The Hollowing is what remains after matter has been stripped of all its astral energy. Nazamil gathered astral energy for a powerful astral art before. So maybe... Hollowing in this city? This is not good. We should hurry and catch up... I'm trying to remember what the hollowing is. Do Danans and Renans really want to fight so badly? If they're willing to expose their own people to danger? I refuse to accept the idea that things were peaceful back when we were oppressed by force. Okay. More hollowing, I guess? More of the hollowing. And another body. Hey! At least Nazamiel is trying to save these folks, right? Yeah, but I'm worried about the method. This city has a bad history with the hollowing. That's what I thought. Is Nazamil in there? The trail of hollowed leads into the plaza. She must be... We've got to hurry. Out of our way, damn it! Damn, that's a lot of zoogles. That is a lot. I guess not that much. Don't get reckless. Focus on the enemies in front of you. I know. Move away. Ignite. Big now. Look sharp. Lightning fire blade. There's more of them. It's like they're being drawn to the plaza. Could whoever's responsible for this also be there? I believe so. Nazanil is likely there as well. Oh gosh, I just die. I just died. Okay, I'll take on. Indeed, that does seem wise. Now let's turn on. Law, you all right? I, yeah, I'll be okay. Oh shit! Such a Damn. Okay. Uh, I guess. Uh, let me go to Law. Law's dead. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. I just... Oh my gosh. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we all died. Damn. Let's try that again. To get to the plaza, stay out of our way. Don't get reckless. Focus on the enemies in front of you. I know. Should have met. I've let you all down. Damn, dude. Hey. I never miss. Immobilize that one. Indeed, that does seem wise. Now let's turn the tide. Hey, which ones are the ones shooting 
like freaking water at us. We gotta die first. Wait, where am I? Oh, Elfin's dead. <laughs> Shit, dude. This is not good. Could whoever's responsible for this also be there? I believe so. Nazanil is likely there as well. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Here's a healing arc! Sweet dreams! First aid! Show me up to get knocked down! More Sukkot? Keep calm and take them down! I'm on my... Yeah! You're finished! Oh! Thanks, Law! Talon Hurricane! Rising Warper! Sweet dreams! I'll heal you all! Bomb just getting started! Healing trouble! Inferno Punch! Burn! Thunder! I've let you all down. Oh, shit. Is Shion still alive? Ah, shit. Wait, no, she is. Damn, dude. Bring us, bring us all back. More Zoodles? Just keep coming, man. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. <laughs> They just kept coming. The way is clear. Hurry to the plaza. They just would not stop. Save all the innocent people of this world. If you would stoop so low as to harm an innocent.
my enemy. Oh shit. Shit's just got real serious. Pulling out the crest. Shit. Damn, okay. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Just when I said this was getting stale, oh man. That was pretty cool. Were you able to find out who could have let the Zoogles in? It was those men in the plaza. They burned some kind of insects that attract Zoogles. Where would they even get something like that? For now, most of those behind the scheme have been detained. I owe you. Denons are one thing, but can you even catch Renans? You may find it hard to believe, but there are Renans that don't want to fight. But more pressing than that. Is the hollowing and everything that happened at the plaza Yes. Rumors are already spreading like wildfire throughout the city. About Nazamil and Alfin both. I... Alfin. I ended up drawing my blade on those that turned to me for help. I used force on people who thought differently from me. Just like the enemies we all fought against. What choice did I have? <sighs> I think it'd be best for you to leave Niez for a bit. Just until things cool down. I hate to say it, since I'm the one who called you back here and all. But why? Alvin saved my life. He didn't do anything wrong. Nazamil. Why is Alfin the one being punished? Why not me? It's okay. It isn't Bayfon's fault. But... That's fine. I'll do as you say, and leave for a while. I'll tell everyone what really happened. How none of you are to blame. doesn't make any sense. I mean, to be honest, I kind of forget what the hollowing, hollowing is. We rushed to their aid, and this is how they treat us? Enough, Law. It would be too difficult to reach another city at this hour. Camping might be our best bet today. Rest at the uh, Quato Hills Campground. 
That is to our left over here. Game is really pretty at night. That looks like we're going to be fighting Zoogles. Oh, maybe not. in the hollowing of course you didn't know we never told you about it but those people hate alfin now it's not your fault but if anything it was my fault this happened because i couldn't control my anger you didn't start it they were going to hurt nazamil unfortunately if you favor either side the other will hate you if you treat them equally then they both will People have strong opinions when it comes to the Blazing Sword. Pleasing everyone will hardly be a simple matter. What about you, Dohalim? As the final lord, you're in a similar position, don't you think? True. Some turn to me for help, while others despise me. All simply because I am a lord. But compared to the symbol that Alfin must bear, my burden is quite light. People can be... entitled about these kinds of things. If they assume someone is there to help them, they are doubly disappointed when that's not the case. In that, Danins and Renans are the same. So, what will we do now? Let's go back to Missin for now. We can decide whether to divide up or not once we get there. Elemental defense up. That might be good. Oh, uh, we don't have enough. Oh, there we go. She's not just taking a walk around while invisible. Apparently not. She left behind a letter. Uh, to my friends. My, my first, first friends. It made me happy that I could help all of you. It made me happy to earn your praise. I don't want my friends to be sad. I don't want anyone to hate you. You all taught me that my power can be of use. So... I'm going to see if there isn't something I can do. What is this? What are you planning on doing, Nazamil? Somewhere nearby, aren't you? Please say something, Nazamil! Nazamil! Nazamil has been like weeks later. Oh, damn. It's been weeks. Nazamil has been like nothing but trouble. <laughs> I guess he saved the farmer, but. Or she saved the farmer. Still searching for Nazamil, using the scent as our base of operations. She was so happy to finally make some friends. Where could she be? What is she up to? Wherever she is, regardless of how much we continue to search, 
We still haven't managed to find a single trace of her. She's invisible, dude. <laughs> and once again, I find myself. She was spotted on Treslita Highway, correct? Yes, but we don't know that it was actually Nazamil. All we know is that they saw a Renan-looking girl wandering around by herself. I hope we find her this time. Even if it isn't her, it's dangerous for anyone to be alone outside the city. Let's go. The thing is, you really can't find anybody that goes invisible unless they want to be found. <laughs> this is so... it's like, kind of pointless. Okay, off we go. Just when I was thinking the story was going to take a turn of events there, now we're back to looking for Nazimu again. Here? I think so. <laughs> the people who saw her were a little fuzzy on the details. Let's expand the range of our search a bit. Zoogles are still pretty common out here. We'd better find her soon. Look! There's someone over there! Yes, but it isn't Nazamil. Well, let's go take a look anyway. <sighs> Are you this kid's mom? I'm glad everyone's alright. Are you going to kill us now? Huh? Uh, what? you going to take my daughter away and brainwash her wait it's not like that lies i know who you are the blazing sword of dana is here to oppress us and if we fight back we die i've heard it all no no listen my rumors sure spread fast don't they i never should have come here i'm leaving wait you don't come any closer <sighs> Well, that wasn't Nazamil. Seemed like she wanted to move to Vicent, but in the end, she probably wouldn't have been able to fit in. I feel sorry for her child. Are you okay? This isn't the first time this has happened. Let's go back to Vicent. What was up with that woman and her daughter? And here we were worried about them. It's all right, Law. Even knowing how deep-rooted the conflict between Renans and Danans is, it's still difficult to accept that some people just won't listen. Right. Putting all the blame for what happened on one person? It's irrational. It's too bad that wasn't Nazamil, but at least we know for sure now. Yeah. Let's head back to Vicent. So far, nobody does DLCs like CD Projekt Red. Like this, I mean, Cyberpunk, we were forced into just a crazy, exciting story within, you know, 30 minutes of starting the DLC. You know, a freaking plane crashes, you have to save the president. Like, Bandai Namco just does not know how to do an exciting DLC like that. Hmm? Looks like someone needs our help. And they could have taken this in so many different directions. There's so many things that could have happened what they want. that they They're could have brought back from the base game. How many times do I have to tell you? We cannot allow that! What's wrong with asserting a right that I obviously have? Not again. Fine. If it's come to this, I'll use my astral arts to show you who your master is. Enough! Why, you insolent! This man wishes to emigrate here, but is demanding preferential treatment because he's a Renan. That's not how things are done here. Did you come here without knowing that? Lord Dohalim! I had heard talk, of course, but I considered the rumors too preposterous to believe. So, it's true. The Blazing Sword and the Lord are working in league with one another. What an affront to our people!
Thank you for your help. She wouldn't listen to reason. Lately, more and more Renans and Danans are acting like that. It's true. I'm trying to think of solutions, but it's a very delicate situation. Oh, one other thing. Drostin from the Department for Welfare was looking for you all. He says he has something to discuss. Alfin. It's difficult to receive such hostility from a stranger. I know I've experienced it myself, but... Don't worry. Nazemil, where have you... Be patient. Just for a little longer. Nazemil, come back! I want to talk... Nazemil was right here! Maybe we can... Ah, it's no good. There are too many people. What did she mean by be patient? And why up here now of all times? We spent so long searching for her. Was she actually watching us the whole time? Probably. Please forgive me for summoning you all. I was hoping I could ask you to deliver a personal correspondence to Sisladen. A delivery? Isn't that a job for the Service Corps? Usually, yes. Truth be told, they aren't too fond of the Corps over there as of late. Really? The letter is for Bregan of the Silver Swords, right? I can't see him being upset about it. He isn't the issue. It's the citizens of Sisluden. They're not just wary of Renans, but Danans too. Makes sense. It is Sislodia after all. I see. And you've come to us because you think no one would risk interfering with us, is that it? Yes. Of course, I don't think such a task would require all of you to carry it out. What do you want to do? It's possible Nazemiel will come back here. <sighs> Judging by that interaction, I don't think we'll see her again. Until she's ready. In which case, it's meaningless to continue searching for her. I think we should stay together so we're not apart when she returns. But... What Dohalim says makes sense. Besides, we've been trying to find Nazemil for a while. It would be good for you to focus on other things for a bit. Yeah. All right, then. We'll make the trip to Sisloden. It's a snow place, Thank isn't it? Thank you so much. Here is the letter. Pretty sure that's the snow place. So what's this correspondence about? It's a formal letter between autonomous organizations. If only we could use Renin communication equipment. True. There are so many Renin machines we've been unable to use since Lenigus collapsed. Uh, Hoodle? Oh, what? Did Hoodle do something? Oh, no, it's fine. I was just surprised to see him appear out of nowhere. I'm sorry for worrying you. Xion, do you still have some of your anxieties from when you had your thorns? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes I still panic when someone approaches me too suddenly. You know what they say about old habits dying hard. Right. That must be difficult. But overall, I've gotten pretty used to physical contact with others. It makes me happy more than anything. The joy of human contact. Hearing that from you of all people makes it sound all the more wonderful. Yeah, I'm with you there. And also, I think it's easy to forget as you grow older, but just the warmth of another can be really comforting. It's cold in Sislodia, but when I hug Hoodle tight, it warms me right to the soul. I remember how, whenever I was feeling anxious or when times were hard, my brother would silently rub my back. The warmth of his hand told me that everything was going to be all right. Brother? It was reassuring. Yeah. Sounds like a sister and brother complex. It's a way of communicating without <laughs> words, isn't it? I've still only experienced that a few times, but I think I understand. 
Well, for what it's worth, I think Elfin gave you some good experiences, if you know what I mean. Me. Whenever you want. You too, Rinwell. Yeah. And the same goes for the two of you with me. <laughs> you too, Hoodle. Look, Xion. Hisara's waiting for us with open arms. Uh, really? Now? Uh, well, all right then. I guess it'll help me get more comfortable with this sort of thing. Thank you. Both of you. You've been looking a bit blue these days. Want to talk about it? Well, you know how for the past year I've been traveling with Xion? Without settling down in any one place like the rest of you? To seal up the mausoleums, right? That's something only you guys can do. The reason I didn't stay in cities for long was because I wanted to avoid people. Because everyone's either calling you a hero or a destroyer, right? That's why you exploded in the S, isn't it? Yeah. I wanted to protect Nazamil, but it wasn't just for her. A lot of that anger was for my own sake as well. But what else could you do? A any way you look at it, they were in the wrong. Even so, I should have handled it better. If I hadn't lost control and caused this whole mess, Nazamil wouldn't have run off. Look, I get why it's bothering you. But that doesn't mean... It's not just her, is it? I get the sense that behind all this, you're actually anxious about your future. Alfin's future? What are you talking about? With Shion... You really are perceptive when it comes <laughs> to other people. If people could be perceptive about their own business, no one would ever have anything to worry about. No doubt. You're right, though. I'm in this mess just handling my own problems. I worry I'm not ready. Regardless of what anyone says, it's your life. Don't let your future slip away from you. Or perhaps I should say, your future together? Yes. Oh, wait, that's... Uh, you mean <laughs> Alfin and Xion? Spluttering like a fish is not proper decorum, young man. You're not even that old. <laughs> I'll still have to think it over and choose for myself. But I do feel better now. Thanks, guys. Oh, come on. We know they're together already. They've been traveling around just them two alone. They're definitely together. Especially after the credits from the last game, too. No doubt together. Shows them in a house living together. Don't be giving me all that bull. They're no doubt together. Okay, off we go. Uh, can I fast travel? Is that a thing? Okay, how do I go? Okay, let's see if I can go back. Cislodia. Ah, I can. Is this the snow place or not? It looks kind of like it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yep, I remember this city. as cold as ever here the sun may have come back but this place is still in the mountains it will take time for the current amount of snow to melt down to this region's new normal um okay we're at like 35 minutes this is this is gonna be a good place to cap off i think um is there anything i wanted to do oh we didn't get no new armor um all right, we'll cap it off there, and next episode we'll go through Cislodia and figure out what we gotta do here. I'm really hoping this story picks up though, because like I said, you know, going from you know Cyberpunk DLC where it was like just crazy shit happening and it gets more more crazy to, to just this mellowness, like it's kind of relaxing, but also at the same time I'm like my brain is waiting for something like to kickstart. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned, guys. We'll find out next time. Snowballs at people's heads from behind. Take this! Ha! You'll never hit me. Oh, Jion! I'm sorry. Are you okay? No need to apologize, either of you. After all, soon that won't even be an option. Whoa! Put the gun down!